When this guy gets up on the table, the ground shakes. I have to hold the table because he'll rip it off the stage. And that's no joke. Give it up for Mr. Alan Fisher! Alan Fisher is a legend in the sport of arm wrestling. At 60 years old, he's won 26 world titles. Some people call him Popeye. To others, he's Mr. Intensity. And I'm here in Morro Bay, California, taking on Mr. Intensity, Alan Fisher. Fisher met his wife, Carolyn, on the arm wrestling circuit 29 years ago. She's also a world champion. She has five titles. The Fishers live in La Mesa with their two grown children. Walking out into the breeze. Their backyard is a training ground. It's also where they keep their trophies. How many think trophies do you think you've won? Oh my first? goodness. <laughs> um, uh, maybe a thousand. Carol and I think we gave her way about 400 trophies at the thrift store one time between us. Alan says a big trophy case to show off all his awards isn't really his style. I really believe that I was designed by God to do what I do. And for me to take credit for that, it's like I'm just another person. But he's got to get back past that huge hand of Alan Fisher. Come on around, Paul. Do you see my hand? Fisher has a size 15 ring finger. If somebody grabs my hand, they don't want to challenge me. Fisher says he's been training for arm wrestling since he was a kid, though he didn't realize it. Growing up, he couldn't afford to buy the balls used in handball, his favorite sport. So he converted tennis balls. Well, I actually used to climb on top of the roof of the gym where they hit all the tennis balls. The first time I we went up there, I couldn't believe it. there was over 100 tennis balls. So I grabbed them all, and I used to sit in class. He used to tear the skins off of tennis balls. As he peeled all those tennis balls, he developed muscles in his hands and forearms. He says those muscles set him apart. I'm sure you've heard the stories where this little 130 pounder goes in and he beats some 300 pounder. Well, what is that? That's really, you know, that connective strength uh, that really dominates our sport. What makes a good arm wrestler is not the, the size of the muscle, but all the connection, your, your finger strength, your wrist strength, and how this all connected. Carolyn was the best arm wrestler at her Bible school, beating all the boys. She entered a tournament in Canada at 17. She wanted the prize. They were offering, first place was a car uh, pair of cowboy boots. And I really wanted those, so uh, I said, okay, I'll enter it. So I went in and I won that. The Fishers teach a lot of people how to arm wrestle correctly so they don't get hurt. They've seen too many broken arms over the years. When you approach the table, you want to approach the table with intent and you want to be nice and parallel, your, table, your shoulders parallel with the table. You don't want to be this way and you don't want to be all tweaky this way. So you grab the peg. If you let go of the peg, you're going to get a foul during your competition. So you want to hang on to the peg, okay? You put your elbow in the cup, put your elbow in the cup, and you can see right away that's not fair right there. <laughs> that's why he dominates the sport. They say they can teach anyone to arm wrestle, even me. I see how your shoulder raises up. Yeah because these muscles aren't strong enough to hold me. Look at my massive forearm. What yeah, do you yeah. Mean it's not <laughs> <laughs> the Fishers are the stars of a new reality show about arm wrestlers. The production team behind the hit show The Deadliest Catch will produce it for AMC. Shooting starts this spring. Deadliest Catch. The Fishers and their children aren't worried about having cameras following them. The couple says 28 years of marriage has taught them a lot. I mean, that's not to say we haven't had our challenges, world champions under one roof, you know, and then one of them has PMS, and, <laughs> and it isn't me. <laughs> the Fishers insist everyone has an arm wrestling story. It's just hard to imagine that anyone's story is better than theirs. Angela Carone, KPBS News.